why traditional photography is still worth it. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. I'm going to start this year 2023 by sharing five reasons why traditional photography is still worth it. And I'd also like to thank Focus Nordic Finland for their support and uh, for lending me some gear for this trip. Thanks Focus Nordic. Sometimes when you read photography related news and rumors, they can be a bit depressing, especially if you look at them from the point of uh, traditional uh, photography. AI is a threat. It's going to manipulate our pictures in camera, in post, and it can even create pictures from scratch, pictures that look a lot like photos. And cameras are too easy. Photography is too easy. Our smart cameras do everything for us and everything has been photographed already. So what's the point in taking photos anymore? But here are five reasons why you can still enjoy photography in 2023 and beyond. But before I go any further, I'd like to point out that I have absolutely nothing against AI or any new technology. However, if you feel depressed or lost your motivation because you feel that all these new technologies and AI are threatening traditional photography, these tips are or reasons are for you and of course for everyone else as well. Number one, save your personal memories and moments. Document your own life and the people near you because no one else can do that. And no AI or any artificial enhancement can ever do that like you do. And um, any AI enhanced picture is not a document anymore. So it's important to document your personal life and uh, your loved ones and everything near you and what is happening in your life. Those are important memories and important recent history for you and your family. So photograph your kids, your spouse, your travels, your vacation and everything near you and especially your everyday life because that is often neglected because it feels that uh, there is nothing to photograph. But document your personal life too, whatever is happening every day in your life. Number two, enjoy the process of seeing. Not everyone can see like you. Most people cannot see those light and shadow shapes and textures and how they come together and form an eye-pleasing composition. And I think it's fantastic to be able to see things that others can't. And I mean real things, not some imaginary hallucinations or something like that. I have said many times that you need a good reason to take photos because that's going to make you a better photographer. But also photography can be a good reason to explore, go out, go to places and observe what is going on. Number three, do your own thing. Do what you love and forget what others think or do. AI, Instagram, social media or whatever, they don't matter if you don't want them to matter. Use whatever camera you like, phone camera, micro four thirds, full frame, film camera or whatever, as long as you enjoy the process. Someone once said, after looking at my pictures from my GR3 camera, that those pictures could have been taken on a smartphone. But so what? I don't care if someone else can create similar pictures on their smartphone. I don't care. I could not create those pictures on a smartphone. Never. So please don't pay too much attention to other people's photography. Just do your own thing. Pick your own favorite camera and photograph whatever makes you happy and what interests you. Number four, cameras and lenses are fun. Cameras and lenses are made for photography and photography is the main point, of course. But it's okay to enjoy cameras and lenses too. We all have our favorite camera, our favorite lens, and it's really hard to imagine any photographer who would not enjoy 
gear or cameras or lenses at least a little bit. Most of us has more than one cameras and multiple lenses and maybe today you pick one combo, tomorrow you pick another combo, just for the heck of it, just because it's fun. Or maybe you shoot everything with your absolute favorite camera and lens combo. But however you look at it, there's no point denying that cameras and lenses are fun. Number five, shoot film. Go traditional, go analog and shoot film. That will never become ubiquitous and it remains a special skill, especially if you process or develop your own films and print your own pictures. Shooting film is different from shooting digital. And I think we should keep it going to preserve the tradition. And fortunately, film is doing pretty well at the moment. Film is a bit pricey, but film cameras are not. Of course, some film cameras can be very pricey, but you can get a very decent film camera for about 100, 200 US dollars. And if you shoot a couple of rolls of film each month, it's not that expensive after all. So if digital seems too mainstream, shoot film and you'll find new aspects to photography. I would definitely shoot more film, but now that I'm traveling, it's just too cumbersome. On a short trip, film would be fine, but on a long trip, many months long trip like this one, I could not process or develop my films, I could not scan my negatives, and I could not share my photos in my videos. So it is just too cumbersome and not practical for uh, on a trip like this. Even if it seems like photography is everywhere, the bottom line is that only photographers care about photography, unless celebrities are involved or some big time publicity is involved. For example, could you imagine some random people buying a photo book unless the book was shot by a celebrity or the book was full of pictures of celebrities? For regular people, the photo moment is just a snap. So we should pay less attention to social media, photo invasion, AI and other such things. Instead, we should concentrate on our own photography and we should photograph what we love and enjoy our photography the way we like it. Now let's all go out and start taking pictures and let's make this 2023 the best photography year ever. That's all I have to share this time. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. There's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next video.